Wales. Okay, so Writer's Workshop this morning, and generally for Term 4, is going to have much more of a focus on using the strategies and skills that we've been learning. Week 1, we're doing an activity called Six Sentence Story which is scintillating stories that satisfy schooling. I'm going for a theme here, see if you can pick it up. So our learning intention, so what we are learning to do, is to string sentences together into a short story. Our success criteria, what teachers are looking for, is for you to write a six-sentence story. Does that seem achievable? I think so. Um, and this is because we need you to use your writing, we need you, we need to use our writing skills to be successful writers. So that's that idea of, we know about the power of three, we know about all these skills that we've learned, we now need to practice putting them into action. So, once upon a time there was a talented young carpenter, keep, keep count of the sentences as I read, once upon a time there was a talented young carpenter. He lived in a cottage in the depths of a remote forest in Russia. He was able to craft houses that were more beautiful than those of any other carpenter in the land. Unfortunately, he was very lonely. He wished to meet an interesting young woman and get married. So he moved to the city and met a talented woman architect and they made their fortune designing and building homes for rich people. Six sentences. Now, does that... Uh, is that an entire story in its own right? Yes. has a beginning, middle and end, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's the structure we're going to be using. Now, big picture, if you were writing a narrative, this would more be more like six paragraphs. But the six sentences is a good start for us to look at the structure. So... Sentence one. Once upon a time there was a talented young carpenter. Your first sentence is going to introduce the main character. <coughs> now observe the features of that sentence. What can we see in that first sentence? Hands up. There's a talented young carpenter. Also today I want your sentences all to start with once upon a time. That's a common theme we're all going to have. Number two, he lived in a cottage in the depths of a remote forest in Russia. <coughs> sentence one, the character. Sentence two, it's where they live. It's the setting, it's the location. Now, in a narrative structure, this is referred to as our orientation, isn't it? Number three... <laughs> He was able to craft houses that were more beautiful than those of any other carpenter in the land. What is this character's special talent? What is something special about them? What can they do? What's unusual about them? Unfortunately, he was very lonely. What part of the narrative is this? The problem. What is it that changes? <coughs> He wished to meet an interesting young woman and get married. <coughs> that is a description of why the character felt that way. And a little bit what that character plans on doing about it. And number six. So he moved to the city, met a talented woman architect, and they made their fortune designing and building homes for rich people. That is how the character solved the problem that they had. That is the resolution of your narrative. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we're doing this morning. You'll be writing six sentences based on these. And that's what we need to do. Hands up if you think that's achievable. Absolutely, because you're all a bunch of winners. You'll be given a sheet like this. This is for your good copy. This is for your good copy. You're going to be handing this up at the end of this session. Now, 
We're going to bind them all together into a book. And we're going to be cutting along those lines. So what we will find is that we can interchange. And with sentences 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we can mix and match. And that's going to be a little bit of a fun resource for us. So there's motivation for what we're working towards. And obviously when we do that, it's going to be absurd, isn't it? It's not going to flow. But that's a bit of fun. And it's term four, and we're about using our skills to let's create some things. Write a story, yes, yeah, that's great. Let's make a, a funny flip book. That's where we're up to. Another resource that is available to you, if you would like it, if you would like it, is this sentence starter menu. I'm not going to go through them all. Um, but there are different types of sentences here. And I'd like you to try, if you feel you're up to the challenge, of making each of your six sentences a different type. You don't have to do this if you don't like, but th that is a, a challenge there for you. So if you would like one of these, you may take one, but you do not have to. All right? Any questions? Just going to say there, Mr. Hewitt, is the number seven is the power of three. Yes. Yes, you'll notice some similarities when you go through this. They would have different names for things. Yeah. Quick questions. Yes, you can absolutely use sentences, commas to make them longer. Actually, you'll see 10, 11, and 12 are complex sentences. So they mix up independent and um, uh, subordinate clauses. So you can incorporate that skill if you like. All right. Uh, drafts in your draft book, good copies on the sheets. Off we go.